Hi, welcome to Diablo Immortal Dungeon Guide. For this guide, we will discuss about Forgotten Tower. The overall strategy for the Forgotten Tower is centered around fast, coordinated movement and upkeep of massacre bonuses. They are what makes this dungeon so appealing and efficient for experienced farming. As if that was not enough, the dungeon also has the potential to reward you with up to 5 treasure chests at the end of each run, depending on how well you do with this build in time. Much like her Diablo 2 counterpart, the Countess is a staple to run in Diablo Immortal, so get to it. The dungeon can be roughly split into three sections, the entrance, the side rooms, and the Countess. Solo players should simply slaughter everything in their way indiscriminately. Run towards the vines that bar your way and make short work of the monster that leads to your position. There is some variance in the monster composition, which can either be blood clan or corrupted wildfire. But it should not matter to you. Know that there are two treasure chests in the area. One is behind the altar at the start and the other is near the end of the corridor to the left. Once you are done, either taking the detour for extra treasure or skipping it altogether to optimize gain experience. Break down the vine barrier and continue through down the corridor. Make your way through the blood swarm spear woman and archers. Unleash them in the spectral wall that bars your way. You can kill them there and immediately proceed to the chamber ahead, directly continuing the fight with the boss mobs and keeping the kill streak going. Slaughter the minions before moving on the boss. Groups should coordinate for one party member to hang back, methodically cleaving anyone down at the entrance while the remaining party members be lined through the corridor, cleaning the blood swarm and taking on the boss as soon as possible. Blood Priestess Inaloth is a summoner and waller. This is a surprisingly potent combination and her crowd control capable summons can be great pain if you are caught within the confines of her walls. Try to stay behind her and be ready to use your mobility skill if she walls you off. Make sure to clean up her summons blood swarm regularly as they can grow from an annoyance to a real threat if unattended. For the second section, the side rooms. Once the priestess is down, inspect the dying villager to open the way to your left. In groups, the fastest running party member should dash to the door on the left immediately after the boss kill, so they can unlock it as soon as their companions inspect the villager. What follows is a timed 5 stages gauntlet of 80 seconds each where you need to kill a progressively higher number of blood swarm enemies 10, 15, 20, 25, and finally 30 for a total of 100 enemies successfully doing so within the time uh, rewards you with 5 bonus treasure chests at the end make your way across the chamber on the left and then one on the right chaining fights together to keep massacre bonuses going Make sure to evade the swing blade to place around those rooms. Groups should try to spread out efficiently as they clear out both chambers. The most nimble character should go to the farthest outmost corner of the room, while the remaining heroes clean up monsters near the entrance and in the middle. Section 3 The Countess fights in melee and has a stronger telegraph melee swing that will inflict heavy damage if you do not move out of its area, clearly marked with a bright red conal shape. Either pop ultimates and hard hitting cooldowns immediately as the fight starts so they recharge for phase 2, or save them up for the second phase so you do not waste DPS during the boss absence. At the two thirds of her health, the countess briefly disappears and summons Bloodstorm ants. Make quick work of them while keeping an eye of the red circling telegraph on the ground. This is where the Countess will appear, dealing damage to anyone caught within. The Countess will then draw a pedigram on the ground, starting immediately from the direction she is facing. 
the lines of the pentagram will deal damage to anyone standing on them and will be active for the remainder of the fight. Be cognizant of the Bloodstorm Oppressor ads. They can knock you back right onto the pentagram lines or into the one countess projectile. The countess will then dash to the center of the chamber and start channeling a swarm of blood bats that spiral outward, quickly filling the room with projectiles. Do your best to avoid them. Be especially careful in mid range, where multiple bats can hit you for immense damage. Take her down and collect the 6 chest loot. Dungeons are tied to daily quests, contracts, bounties, and the very finalization of your character's gear overall. Make sure you have checked your codex for rewards. Dungeons are also the only place to obtain sets once completed. A powerful addition to your endgame gear. Here are the set items you can farm for this dungeon. That's it for now. If this guide helps you, please like, subscribe, and share this video so others will know. Thank you and have a great day. See ya!